Hello friends, this video on getting to know plants part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So there are three types of plants based on their size. So the first type is herbs. Herbs are those plants which are very small in size. So the best example which we can think of is the grass. Second one is shrubs. So the shrubs are like medium size. They are neither too small nor too big. So they are shrubs. So one example of shrub could be the rose plant. So they are like you can pot, you can have a pot and plant a rose plant on that. And it will be like quite decent. It will give you enough flowers. And if you look at the plant, the plant is not as huge as a mango tree. It, it's quite small than that. And the third type of plants are the trees. And trees are the huge plants. They are like very big in size. The banyan tree, the people tree. They are all examples of uh, trees. So basically, herb, shrubs and trees are the three types of plants based on their sizes. So herbs are the smallest and trees are the largest. So let's start our discussion with herbs. So short height is the most important characteristic of a herb. In fact, that defines herb. They, are very, uh, they have very short height. So if you try to uh, look at a herb more um, Closely, you will see that they have green soft stems. Now, in many cases, for example, grass, we get to see the leaf part. We, we don't, don't really get to see the stem part so much. I mean, we don't focus on the stem part so much. But in uh, in other herbs, the smaller plants, if you even if you look at their stems, they are going to be very tender, soft and green stems. You do not have brown stems at all. Generally, the brown branches, they are like tough and hard. Herbs may or may not have branches. They might not have branches like how you have in grass. So you just have one thing. So you do not have branches coming out of it. You look at uh, uh, wheat. So the cr wheat crop in a field. How do they look like? Maize, wheat, all of them are examples of herbs. So if you actually stand in a wheat field, what happens? What's the height of the wheat plants? See, th their height is like a lot lesser than that of you. So this little girl when she's standing in a wheat field, the wheat plants are like only till half is, is around half of her height. So this shows that these plants have a very short height. So that, that's the distinction. That's how we define them as herb. So that's the, those are the characteristics of a herb. Now when it comes to shrubs, so these are medium sized plants. So neither too short nor too long. They have hard woody thin stem so the stem can be brown in color they can be a little harder so when you look at the a rose plant that's so this is china rose so this plant is china rose or it is often called hibiscus so in, and it is a very common plant in houses so if you look at their stem you will see that the color of the stem is brown and it is woody it is even though it is thin, but it is woody. It is quite strong. Similarly, if you look at a rose plant, the stem of a rose plant, you will see that sometimes it can be green, sometimes it can be uh, brown, but this is also hard and woody. So here branches are seen towards the base of the stem. So as the plant grows, you, you end up seeing more and more branches towards the base. So in all of these plants. So some of the examples of shrubs are rose, hibiscus or china rose. So china rose is also known as hibiscus from its scientific name. So hibiscus or china rose, uh, tulsi is another common example of shrub. So tulsi is uh, considered to be a very sacred plant in India. So tulsi which is also called as basil. Jasmine is another example of a shrub. So all these plants, if you see, they are not very big, they are nor very small. But at the same time, they have a uh, woody, hard, thin stem. So this thin point is important and that is what makes them different from trees. So now let's look at trees. Trees are like they are huge. So when you talk about them, they are definitely very, very tall. So now if you compare the height of herbs with our height, and again, if you compare the height of trees with our height, so how, what do you see? So if you stand beside this tree, this is how you would look like. So maybe this would be your height and the tree is like almost 
two, three times than your height. So that's three. They have strong, thick brown stems. So you see, in case of shrubs, they have thin stem, but here they have thick stem. So if you look at the bark of the tree, the main bark, it's like extremely thick. So even the branches which comes out of this, they are also quite thick. Branches are many and towards upper part of stem. So the, these plants, you know, they spread over a large area. So there are many branches and that's how they expand. So some of the common examples of trees are coconut tree, banyan tree, mango tree. So these are the common examples of trees. So here we have um, a couple of plants which we are going to classify. So we have to decide whether it is a herb, a shrub or a tree. So let's start with this one. So here we have a lemon plant. So he, in fact, in the picture, you cannot see the entire plant, but you can just see the branch with a, a, a few lemons. So this is an example of a shrub because the plant is neither too, a bit too big nor is it too small. Then you have this wheat. So the wheat plant is actually, wheat is nothing but it is actually a grass. You really do not see very distinct uh, stem, flowers, fruits, etc. So it is almost like a grass. So this wheat is an example of a herb. So herb are the smaller plants. Look at this eucalyptus tree. This is a big tree. So this is definitely a tree. Then you have uh, the jasmine here. And this jasmine again, they are like medium sized plants. So this is also an example of um, a shrub. Talk about a paddy field. That's uh, the rice field, so from where we get rice. So they are also small sized plants. So that's again an example of a herb. Think of cabbage. So cabbage plants again is a herb. Think of coriander. Coriander is again a herb because it is not a very big plant. It's a small plant. You can, pl uh, you can spread some coriander seeds in a small pot and you'll see the plant coming up. And it is going to be very small in size. Onion. So onion again is a herb. We talk about maize. Maize again is also a herb. So most of these plants which we see here on the screen, they being small sized, they are all classified as herbs. Whereas the eucalyptus tree is a big tree, so definitely a tree. Whereas lemon and jasmine are the shrubs. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.